Hello, today we're going to talk about the M5 stack C2. So, if you install Nemo on it, which I think is a really cool software, and you start it for the first time, you start it with this button right here. Then this little fish Nemo is going to pop up. So first you start on that clock, but that's just not really interesting. So you click the button on the bottom, and now you're in this menu. Um, on TV Be Gone, you can turn off and turn on any TV you want. First choose your re region, I'm going to choose EU, and then to start it, press the enter button again. Um, then it's just going to turn on uh, TV. I'm going to show you a demonstration right now. So here I'm just going to demonstrate how I turn this TV on with this device. Here you could choose the region. So the it lays right there, so I won't be using it. So as you can see, I just took... EU, and then if I go and go, it just types right off a bunch of these things and it should turn the TV on. Here you can see an infrared. Mm, when it's not working, just try to pause it and start it again and as you see the TV just started so you can also shut it off so it's on now it's there. the remote lays there and it's off again. Next is Bluetooth. Here you can do Apple Choose, which lets you do a pop-up of whatever device you select here. So it's just going to do a pop-up on your phone for AirPods Gen 2, but because that's really annoying. Now I'm going to demonstrate this sour apple crash i'm activating it oops that was the wrong button and as soon as i as soon as i start out so as soon as i start it should send lots of different not i'm just going to unlock it it should start to Send many Apple TV requests. I don't know why it's not working. Hmm. It all it always worked, but I guess it's uh, as you can see here. It's spamming bunch of things yeah i hope that helped you to them see how it's working here you could choose like special thing like the airpods gen 3 or something like that just gonna close that if i choose this it should send an airpods notification to my iphone I'm just going to relock it and unlock it. Mm, I don't know. And you see right here, I don't have any AirPods near me. And it just sends this and obviously if you connect it doesn't work. So yeah, I hope that this helped you.
Then you could also do Swift Pair. I don't know what this does. I think it's for Android. Then obviously the Android spam is for Android. And then we have Sour Apple Crash, which spams a bunch of pop-ups like Apple TV and sign into a new device and share network. Then here we go to Wi-Fi. First you can scan the Wi-Fi. So these are all the Wi-Fi in my region. So I'm going to select my network. And here you can do a bunch of attacks. First you can do clone portal, which is going to create a fake network with the same name and everything, but it's an open open internet network which you don't need a password but if you try to log in it needs your google data and if you log in with that information on that little pop-up it's just going to send me the owner of this device or if you buy one you all the information i'm going to show you how to do that in a moment we got the d off attack which is the d authentication attack it just de authenticates all devices and this kind of disconnects them from the wi-fi and this is the de authenticate and clone this just does the same thing so it de authenticates and connects to the fake new internet so i'm going to try this on my network i'm just going to do both I'm going to show you what happens from the victim's POV. If you log in in one of these fakes network that were created, like this one, which is not really my network, but it looks like it. It doesn't have the secret. It's just going to open a pop-up like this. And this is obviously fake. If you type in like um, YouTube at, at gmail.com. And then as password, I'm just going to do um, yo dot dot dot. And I do sign in. It's just going to send this to me. How to access this state is very easy. You just open the web browser and type this IP right here into your web browser. And then dash cred. Creds. slash cred if you type that right here it's just going to show you the things you typed here you could clear all and it shows you the count of victims how many you dropped with this kind of trap good so the next feature is spam funny this is just going to spam a bunch of random networks which have funny names into your area and just make the Wi-Fi or yes network list very full. Here are all the names that have been made a Wi-Fi with. Here you can see them like Bill Y the Science Fi and Get Off My Land. So the same another feature is the spam Rickroll. This is just going to do the lyrics of Rickroll as networks. Here you can see them. These are just the network names. And then also the spam random. This is just going to spam a bunch of random characters as a network. Then we got the Nemo portal. The Nemo portal does the same thing as the, this is like an open network, which is just going to grab all your Google information, like the one I showed you before. So then we got the QR codes, which is just going to do a QR code for the rich growl, as an example. And then last but not least, the last and least, is settings where you can see the battery info this m2 stack m2 stack c plus 2 has 
about one hour and 20 minutes of battery life then you can change change the the display brightness to set the clock to an to a time then rotate it rotate it so that it's you can choose between this and this here you can mount an ssd in but i don't know where this should fit so i don't really know then here you could choose the color theme whichever you like oops yeah and um, whichever you like and then you could get reboot and clear all the settings you did so i hope you enjoyed I hope you enjoyed this video and might as well buy this product. If you want to know where you can get the Nemo install, I will link a video in this description. I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, thanks for watching.